Uh, I am Specialist Austin Rasmussen. Uh, I'm a medic at 68 Whiskey. Uh, we are doing some cross training with the medical units of different countries, such as Colombia, Brazil, and then we also have the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Army out here. Um, we're doing some medical training just to load and unload patients onto helicopters, as well as treating them and giving them whatever care is needed based off their injuries. Uh, as far as international exercise, yeah, this is my first one. Um, I've really enjoyed it so far. There's a bit of a language barrier, but it seems like everyone just kind of understands that and they like working with you and they're very helpful and very knowledgeable. Each country has a different way of like treating patients and what they classify as um, critical or not. Uh, in the U.S. we're heavily trained on, like especially in the Army, we're heavily trained on like trauma and getting people in and out, kind of like emergency room kind of things. And just doing the triage, getting the most critical patients taken care of first. And it was kind of the same here. Um, however, just like minor details, the same, but for the most part, it was fairly similar. Really good exercise. Um, it was great to get the experience of working with different countries. We, in the Army, we do that a lot, in the, just military in general. We have a lot of opportunity to work with different countries, our NATO forces. Um, and it's just really nice to get that experience, as well as understand uh, where they stand, like, medically, and help them out and them teach us, kind of thing. So I'm a part of the 396 CASH, Combat Support Hospital. Uh, we're based out of Washington, uh, currently deployed to Sotokano Air Base, a part of JTF Bravo, uh, underneath the Southcom. And we are down there providing um, care for all the troops down there. So we have Air Force troops, a few Marines, and then mostly Army down there. And we do like care for them as well as run missions uh, across the neighboring countries like Guatemala, Panama, and then just several areas in Honduras, just providing cares, care to the uh, local population who may not have the opportunity to, to uh, make it to a hospital or get anything, any sort of medical care. And so that's kind of like our main focus. As far as being down here, we were asked to be here because we have a lot of training um, in like trauma environments and things like that. And so we're here to help teach as well as learn from the other countries.